Okay. Do you remember how I kind of said that I love to be up early in the morning, right before the sunrise, get out on the road? That's my favorite time to ride. I am way behind schedule today. It looks like it's gonna be a very beautiful day. Okay, breakfast was mediocre at best. Welcome to day two of the 12 Days Behind Bars series. Uh, as I mentioned, we're a little bit behind today, but that's okay. You know, that's just part of, you know, being on the road and traveling. So I'm gonna try to get into Salt Lake as fast as I possibly can and uh, meet up with a friend of mine, hopefully grab some food and then get right back on the road. But we're gonna be coming up on our next stop here pretty quick, which is going to be Beaver, Utah. It's a fun town to stop in. All right. So typically coming into to Beaver, it reminds me of heading out to, to Sturgis. It's always a good rest stop to stretch the legs out. Uh, we've gone 106.2 miles so far. So we'll probably rest up here for a second and stretch the legs so so far today i've gone a little different route and i am filling my water bottle up with you guessed it water because yesterday i was a wee bit dehydrated we'll top off while we're here all right so Really not much to see in Beaver. It's just a fun place to stop, stretch your legs. I mean, I guess we got uh, some old cars. There you go. And some Beaver tacos. Those are actually pretty good. Had them the last time I was here. <laughs> this sign says 195 miles to Salt Lake. So maybe we will stop one time before we get there. So let's go another 100 miles and see how our legs are feeling. So it's now become a tradition when I come through Salt Lake City that I meet up with Chris yep. and we have, what is this called, what do we got? Chris Arito. Chris Arito. There we go. So we're gonna visit for a few minutes and then get back on the road. So really interesting story about Chris here on how we met. So we met on Beartooth Pass back in 2020. Uh, there was some construction going on and his group and our group kind of got stuck in it and started chit-chatting. I actually did an interview with his group during that first Sturgis uh, video that I did back in 2020. But that's how Chris and I met and I always love coming in and visiting with him. One, he takes me to this awesome burrito spot which has got just killer burritos. And then he's always finding a way to show me a different road out here in Utah. And it's just gorgeous. The, the last time we went through these canyon areas, your lungs felt better just being on the road. So we're going to go to one of his little honey holes on our way up northeast. The right side right, it's off. Kind of getting up there in elevation, the temperature's cooled down, it's perfect. Should probably even try to look that up right now to see what, what we're working with. We're at 81 degrees, so taking a break from that 100 degree temperature, yes please. Chris and I have parted ways. He went back home. 
I think first the miles with me about uh, about 80, 85 or so. It's really nice of him. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate you. Always a good time to come through Utah. But we are now in Wyoming, and I kind of had my heart set on getting to Casper, Wyoming today. Uh, that's not gonna happen. I got to be able to get to the hotel room and start working on the edit. So I think we're gonna go to Rollins, Wyoming. So that's still a couple hours away. And to take in the scenery of Wyoming. Absolutely amazing. Love riding through here. But that's what we got going on. Let's get to it. Okay, seriously, so I'm stopping for fuel in Rock Springs, Wyoming, and I swear to you that it looks like Radiator Springs uh, from the, the movie Cars. Like, we're gonna take the bike and go down there just a little bit before we jump back on the freeway, but let's take a look at this. So I rolled into town. We're only gonna use the one GoPro for this. And the one's running, running low on battery, but I'm rolling through here looking for gas and I'm telling you, I was like, man, this, with the rock formations and everything, this reminds me of Radiator Springs. Like, come on. Maybe this is where they got the inspiration. I don't know. I mean, it's almost dead on with that rock formation right there. All right, so. We have exactly 100 miles left before we get uh, to Rollins, where I'm gonna call it a night. We're gonna jump back on the freeway. All right, y'all. We have made it to Rollins. Time to find a hotel room for the night and start dumping some footage, see what type of edit I can get out of today. Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining along with this 12 Days Behind Bars series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and I will look forward to seeing you in day three. All right, until next time, you guys ride safe. You be safe. We'll catch you on the next one.